chapter 78 at 4:25 a.m. Laura finally felt Stacy gazing into her eyes. They were sitting only inches apart, so it was hard not to look at each other. But it felt like the girl was now aware. Laura resisted, blinking, wanted to keep this elusive connection with the girl. So will you do it? Laura pressed. Will you help me? Stacy moved one arm to the side in a wave. I am but the wind in the trees. Huh? She waved her arm again. The wind through the leaves. That's fine. Please blow in my direction. The girl's hands clasped together. If the air were still, would we be alive? Laura blinked. Why not still the air in me? Use that pillow and stuff it into my face. Across the country, owls would cry aloud. Let them cry. I need to die. In the red barn, there are two horses. They want freedom. I know. Free yourself to kill me. It's okay, really. The girl appeared alarmed. The chairs of wisdom come from inside the leaves. Sit in them. Laura sighed. This is getting nowhere. Nowhere is somewhere before the fall. I'm not sure you're hearing me. She kissed the girl on the lips. Why not? She had to try something different. Maybe it would work. Kissing was an exceptionally intimate form of communication. It helped bond and connect couples together. Perhaps it could break through the defensive barrier between them. Some birds whistle into the harp of before. When the music of tears comes to the fishbowl, it brings flowers into the water. And the men after us want to control it, but it hears differently than you and I. It hears the clatter of nothing. Now Laura wished the girl would return to her silent catatonia. I know the eyes in the air want to come out. I know they want to cry, but birds are flying too. They have the nests, you know, and the nests are homes and pieces of heart and clouds. Laura glared at Stacy. Look, I'm giving you permission to take all your anger out on me from everyone who had ever hurt you. Pretend I'm them and strangle me. It's okay with, I'm okay with this. Besides the man's beard are limbs which speak in two words only. These can be found where the man comes to eat. In eating is life, now is death. Laura felt like she was talking to a wall. The girl had been just as responsive and coherent when completely silent. Laura stood up and searched the room for something anything that might work as a weapon. But the staff had been thorough to keep everything safe. There were no poisons to drink, no sharp items to cut, nothing one could hang a noose to if one even found a noose. She needed another person's help to kill herself. It was the only way. But they had placed her in an impossible situation for using Stacy as a weapon. A catatonic girl was the perfect roommate for a suicidal patient.